Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 14 of my full platinum walkthrough for Elden Ring. Right, we just killed Estelle in the previous video. This is exactly where we are in the boss arena still. Uh, we're going to go and change something or pick something up that I mentioned at the end of the last video. We're going to go and get some somber smithing stone 8. Uh, I said I'd miss them in um, in the Lake of Rot here and that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to get them quickly. Well, there's one. Uh, there's actually two in here, uh, but there's I found another one that's actually easier. I did a bit of research and found one, because the other one's right in the corner, and I, I really don't want to run all the way over there. So we're going to just go teleport back to the first um, grace point in Lake of Rot, and then we're just going to run in to the Rot here, and uh, run over here, and this is where it is. You should still have Flame Cleanse Me on, so just use that. And there's one, Somber Smithing Stone 8. And now we're actually going to go. <laughs> this is this is the problem with this game. It's huge. I know this is my job and this is what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> but I just explain where we are. We're in North uh, Kaled. We're in Dragon Barrow. So go to the um, the only one of the only um, grace points that we we popped here in Dragon Barrow, and then head towards the tower, Kaled Tower. Uh, and this underneath here is where we got our somber smithing stone nine. I, I do, I, I completely missed this. I went back through my notes and things, and I found and remembered that this little guy is here. Uh, so yeah, he is quite hard to hit at the start. So get him to fall off and then just kill him from underneath. And he also gives you a somber smithing stone eight. He does explode as well, so be careful of that. Right, we now have two of those. We already have a nine, so we can use that already. Uh, so we can go and level up our staff. So go back to round table hold and we'll do that now. Okay, nice and leveled up. <laughs> Just one more level left on it after this, which will be the ancient somber smithing dragon stone, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, and then you'll get the trophy for that. And of course, we'll have a, a top tier weapon. So yeah, Regal uh, Scepter, go across to it and then use both on it. And then, yeah, Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone is what we need next. And, uh, yeah, and then we'll carry on to what we're actually going to do in this video. We're going to go and do Moonlight Altar, which is just continuing where we left off in the previous video, basically. So teleport back to Estelle. Uh, Estelle. It sounds weird saying that. Um, the grace point here and just head on up uh, to the lift. I'm going to go to Moonlight Altar, which is an area above an area we've already been to. Uh, but you, this is the only way you can actually access it. And we're going to get some stuff here. Uh, we're going to tie off one of the endings. The uh, stars ending is going to be finished here. Well, it doesn't finish. You don't get the ending. You have to get to the end of the game and then you can initiate that ending. But you've set it up by this point. Uh, we're going to get a couple of really good spells. A few legendary, uh, legendary weapon, legendary spell. And uh, yeah. So teleport all the way up. Well, not teleport. Take the lift all the way up. And then uh, rest at this uh, this grace. We're also going to get my favourite ash as well. So I'll start using that. So we have some spells. Uh, can't quite use it yet, can we? No, not yet. Uh, so I, I don't really generally like keeping loads of spells on me all the time. Uh, but I think I'll, I'll try it out. We'll see how we go. <laughs> uh, but you never know. Right, so I'm going to head up here. This is actually not the usual way I fight this dragon. This is a doula. This is the dragon we sort of half killed uh, in Three Sisters and then it flew off. Uh, we're going to kill it fully now and get its sorcery because it's really good. <laughs> uh, so you, usually I had in the rock on the left-hand side and just kind of snipe it, jumping back and forth. So I thought I'd try it in here and uh, see how this is. And it can't get in here, so it's actually quite good. It can one-shot you with quite a few of its attacks. Uh, you'll notice that that one definitely does at the end. Um, so whenever it does you know, build up an attack, get ready to, to move out of the way. You can bring in your Ash if you're able to move far enough forward, which I'm trying to do at this point. Uh, you will get the, the little icon on the left-hand side. So don't worry, it's not going to be that the whole fight's not going to be like this. You're going to be able to get a, a bit of breathing room once it does this sort of attack. So once it goes in the air and does some air attack, it'll move off to the side, kill a lot of rabbits apparently, and then you can just walk outside and uh, and bring your summon in if you want to. I thought I'd just get a few attacks in first. The idea is that we're going to get the attention diverted. Obviously, that's why we use the uh, the ashes. It's not going so well, and that's terrible so I'm not going to do anything. 
Right, you stay there for a minute. <laughs> no, come on, that's not working. No, don't use that. Right. I thought I'd see if we could get away with just using the uh, that spell, but it's definitely not strong enough. So bring in our summon, our ash. And uh, get the attention diverted, and we'll take this thing down. So it is a dragon, so go for the head. Uh, use rock sling as well, because you'll knock it down pretty quickly as well. So you can just kind of safely... As long as it's not doing, you know, a uh, breath attack or anything like that, and it's not looking at you, you can quite safely just stay up here and keep spamming Rock Sling at its head. Although you may obviously need to move if it, <laughs> if it starts doing uh, certain attacks. The breath attack is definitely one to watch out for. And this one, the Moonblade, that's what we're after. Now that, this is a strange thing, so that I actually, the rock hit its head. Um, I wasn't supposed to drop off there, but I took advantage by getting a huge chunk of bleed damage on it. Um, yeah, that, that rock hit and interrupted its Moonblade attack that it was doing there. Um, and it still, it shouldn't have the sword in its mouth anymore. <laughs> it's doing other attacks. Uh, so yeah, if you, yours doesn't have the sword, don't worry. It's not supposed to have it in its mouth anymore. It's finished that attack. So here's where I die. I didn't notice that uh, that attack, and then uh, <laughs> I got killed. I completely just thought, oh right, we've got you down, you're dead, and just yeah, there's me frustration. Um, yeah, if you obviously if you do kill a boss when you die, it does it it still counts. So I just need to go up there. So we do have uh, the moonlight blade now, which is really good. It's frost damage and magic damage, and uh, you do get a dragon heart, of course, because it was a dragon. Yeah, watch out. I, did, I didn't see that spell at all. Because, uh, yeah, I just didn't see it cast it. And uh, I was just concentrating on its life bar at that time. But there you go. Doesn't really matter. And then, uh, yeah, let's go and finish off this ending. So go and grab runes if that happened to you. I very much doubt it. Uh, now, there's starlight shards in here. I th I'm pretty sure there's 11. I've, I counted. I picked up 11. I, I don't think there are any more. Uh, you may or may not use these. These are quite rare. These are the things you can sort of use as a one-off, uh, and your your FP bar will continually fill for a while. Kind of a last resort type thing. Like I said, they are rare, and there's loads of them here. So look all over. You may find more than eleven. I'm pretty sure I got them all. I don't think I'll ever use one, to be honest. Bad planning on my part if we do. And then watch the hole here, but this is where we're going to drop down in a moment. Once we've uh, just picked all these up. We're going to go and get a legendary weapon in a moment. So yeah, there, there's two things we're going doing here. We're going seeing Rani again for the final time. Uh, leveling up, what am I doing? I was checking my level, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> checking how close to 70 I am so we can use the moon. Uh, and then you may also, with your leveling at this point, you may want to start removing the scar or saw seals if you're struggling with health uh, and maybe just kind of level up to counteract with it so it doesn't feel like you're losing levels. Um... I'm going up to intelligence, so that puts me at uh, 70 on intelligence. Uh, vigor, mind, and endurance as well. Let's spread them out a bit, get those stats up a bit. And uh, that allows me to use the moon. We're actually going to get a better version of the moon spell in this video. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to equip Adula's moon blade, which is excellent. I really like it. Honestly, it, it completely negates the, the, the sword that we have. You're just never going to use it anymore, to be honest. Uh, I was going to demo them, but we'll, we'll see them later. So with the moon, uh, what you do is you, you cast it. And uh, it's a really slow cast, but it hits the, the enemy and reduces their magic damage negation. Uh, allows you to do more magic damage, potentially. But it also does a, a big chunk of damage. And it also sucks spells into it as it kind of traveling as well. So it, it can be good in certain instances. So drop down carefully, and then come down here, and then we're going to put... Uh, there's going to be a cutscene, so interact. You're going to put the ring that we got way back in that chest. So I'm just going to skip the cutscene here. And then uh, Rani's going to appear again. And 
and then talk to her. And this is going to lock in that ending. So essentially, she's going to be right at the end once we've defeated the last boss. Her summon sign is going to be there once we've done that. So go through the dialogue options, obviously, and then she's going to disappear, and you know you're good then. And she's going to leave behind the Dark Moon Greatsword. So that is done now. That's locked in, ready to go. One of the endings. So that's actually two of the endings because one of them just happens. So two of the endings are ready. We'll obviously use a backup save and get all three at once. And now we're probably going to do... This is going to be the most difficult fight you've done so far, or will do. One of the most difficult ones, as a sorcerer, I would say. Uh, it's probably not so bad if you're melee. We're going up here. It's an ever jail. I'm going to go back to Moonlight Altar here. So there is a lot of riding in this video as well, by the way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's not there's no way I can really get around it. So back to this uh, this one again. I'm gonna put a marker down so you know kind of general direction. So go round these ruins. You can obviously go through and fight the. I think there's invisible sorcerers in there. They're quite annoying to be honest. Uh, yeah, go through there if you want. But we're kind of heading this way. Uh, the reason I'm not going to the path down the left is because there are a lot of dragons down there. I think there's about three or four of them. Uh, you want to fight them, get the extra runes, then go for it. They're, they're obviously not too difficult. They're just the same as fighting uh, a doula. There's plenty of places to hide. Tortoises here, that they will come into play later on. As does that. Uh, Spirit Spring. But here we're going to do this jail. And we're doing Electo Black Knife Ringleader, which is going to give us a Black Knife Tish, I think it is. Uh, Legendary Ash, who is the Ash I use for the rest of the game. Now, this is a tough fight. I'm not going to. It is for a, a caster because um, Electo will chase you down constantly and she's quick. So, what I like to do is, is come in, uh, use my um, Wondrous Physic. And then have Adula's Moonblade. So I've got magic damage has gone up. And obviously got my shield there. And obviously watch your uh, stamina during this. And of course your FP. And you're going in for a full attack. You will stagger her quite easily. And there's two main attacks you need to watch out for. That slam she just did. That's going to give you time to do something. And then this one will also give you time to do something. When she charges up and does that one. You need to back away quite away. That, sh that will one shot you. Uh, again, if you are struggling, take the saw and scar seals off to reduce damage. That's uh, a dash that is quite hard. It's not hard to dodge, it's quite hard to... Uh, that's the one we want to watch. Now also she did that um, that knife attack there. You need to dodge that. Dodge left when she does that. Because if it hits you, it does a huge amount of damage. And you'll, your health will go down for... Your, your max health will go down for a while. Uh, and that it will continuously do damage to you for uh, quite a while as well. This is why Tish is such a good uh, summon Ash as well. And then, oh no, we're not going to beat her. <laughs> that was close. Uh, yeah, uh, it's honestly, it's be patient with this one. Get used to the dodging. Dodge most of her attacks. Just wait for the big slam, that one, and the one that she does with the uh, the red kind of death. <laughs> Look for those two, and apart from that, don't attack her. Honestly, don't attack. She follows up too quickly. Attack now. Dodge through that and then attack off the back of that. I don't get any staggers here, and but luckily I do manage to kill her. Good luck. Um, you can't bring any help in with this, unfortunately. So just study the moves uh, and just look for those two openings. Don't attack apart from that. Uh, it may take you a few attempts. There is a stake of marikas. You can just keep going back and back and doing it. Uh, if you really are struggling, then come back later. Uh, just make, remember, we do need the uh, the Ash. It is a legendary one. Just remember, you haven't done it and come back later when you've leveled up. But I would definitely recommend you stick it out. And um, it's going to make you better at some of the, the later uh, fights as well. <laughs> I'm sure you know who I mean. Yeah, apparently I'm playing Dark Souls for a minute there. Jumping with the X. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to fully level up. So we just got 80,000 runes as well. Uh, that's about what it takes to fully level up Tish. So we do have enough Ghost Glove Wart to do this all the way up to 10 or 9, 10, whatever. Yeah, 10, isn't it? So that's going to cost 75,000 runes. I honestly think it's worth it. 
honestly. Uh, you get the the attack, the the blade attack that comes from a distance and goes out and does continuous damage. She does it on bosses, and it really helps. It really, honestly, and the fact that she's so quick and she's dancing all over the place makes her hard to hit. Uh, means she's going to be around for quite a while. Plus, she um, is on the be the boss or the enemy constantly, so your your the distraction is is really good as well. Right, now we're going to go to Chelona's Rise. Uh, we've got to kill three tortoises again. This is a long riding section. Um, the tortoises aren't really near the, the rise this time. We're doing this one for a legendary spell, uh, legendary sorcery. Rani's Dark Moon, which is better than the other Renala's Full Moon. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll switch to that as well. Uh, so, right down here. So we're heading sort of east, and then when you can, go south, and then we're heading back west, that kind of thing. If you look on the map, it kind of makes sense as you drop down. And just keep riding towards this tower. Uh, you can go the other way as well, but it's more dangerous. I will go up that way uh, afterwards, because there's some stuff we want, but you might as well go the easier way now, because there is a, uh, a grace here. So whenever you see these sort of crystals... You need to be aware that there's going to be quite a few enemies around. This one's not so bad, it's just uh, wolves and snails. So there's going to be these wolves. Give me a quick slap when you go past. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see these snails here. Just follow the road. Ignore everything. And head towards the marker. Now there's these the three tortoises we need to... They're not killing them. They're magic. They're not real. It's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, they're sort of spread out around this section. We're doing this whole Moonlight Altar section. Uh, I, I'm not 100% I'm not sure whether you can fast travel while doing this. So that's why I don't do it. Uh, it may work, but I didn't want to find out the hard way, <laughs> honestly. It's easy enough just to ride down, uh, ride around. We're going to get a few things as well. So jump off here, get the grace. Uh, this is where we are, right down here. I'm going to remove this because I don't like having loads of them on. And then we're going to interact with this to start it off. Seek the three great wise ones. So there's one here, roughly. There's one here, the jail we were just at, where the spirit spring is. And then there's one where we sort of came down past the ruins. We came down, it's about here. So we'll see how accurate I was with my markings. Uh, the first one is not. <laughs> but like I said, tortoises are kind of the key here. That's That lets you know that there is one of them. So it's actually more to the, the south. So go across here. And you'll see him. There he is. <laughs> Hanging off the side. So this is tortoise number one. It's quite hard to lock on, but it should be okay. If you melee, use a bow and arrow. And now we're going to head north along the west edge. And there's some pretty nasty enemies up here. Uh, we will avoid them, but there's also some smithing stones, like some pretty high level ones, nine of them. Uh, so we're going to grab those as well. It is a bit dangerous. Well, it's not a bit, it's very dangerous. But don't worry, there is a grace point below, so if you do die, you can just ride up here quickly again. So it's not the first section here. Uh, I got a little bit confused. So I was looking, it's not this bit. It's the second bit. <laughs> no, come on, turn around, figure it out. There we go. Those we're looking for. There we go. And then ride around. Now, there's one of these red wolves up here. And he does, unfortunately, spot me straight away. Yeah. Uh, you may be able to sneak past. Uh, maybe don't use a big, great horse thing to go across. Uh, so I'm going to make a run for it, and in each of these little structures is smithing stone. So you've got smithing stone 7 times 3 there. This next one in the middle has smithing stone 8 times 3. So I'm trying to try not to be seen here, keep checking. And then in the final one there's a smithing stone 7 times 3 again. So it's definitely worth the, the risk. Uh, oh no... <laughs> I was just, oh no, no, it came in. I wasn't expecting it to come in. Panic. All right, if you can, just you just need to get out of here. That's all we're doing. Grab those three and then just get the hell out. If you want to fight it, feel free. I don't. Anyway, we'll continue head north now. 
uh, and then through this crystal area stick to the edge on the rocks uh, you will notice the enemies I'll try and point them out there's kind of dark blue crystal as put there you can just see one on the crystal there uh, they have a an attack that will track you pretty pretty well to be honest so you just need to ride past them completely ignore them and get past them as quickly as possible use that left side uh, go across the rocks and you should be fine so this waypoint wasn't too bad we're looking for this spirit spring here line yourself up on this kind of right hand side as we're facing now and then jump up and you'll hit <laughs> so random you'll hit the uh the giant tortoise there and that's number two done and now we'll do the easy ride which is just across this top bit where we sort of came beforehand the route we did so don't dry, uh, ride that way sort of go north a bit first and head towards these ruins and go down the side of the ruins again uh, because on the southern part of this point there are a lot of dragons like i said so stick to the ruins and uh, carry on it's not too far. It's like I said. It's not that, that big. This area. Uh, so th that's where we fought Adula. Now that's where we are. The uh, Grace is off to the right. So I'm going to continue on towards these ruins, towards the marker, and we will uh, be done once the once you've killed all three. You haven't killed them. Once you've removed all three tortoises. I'm trying to tell myself I'm not killing innocent animals here. Um, you can teleport. So once it says the seal has been broken kind of thing, uh, you can teleport freely. So I was quite accurate with this waypoint, to be honest. So go to the edge. You probably need to drop down. Because you're going to potentially lock onto these little guys like this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just get rid of this one. And we're done. There we go. The seal on the rise is open. So we can teleport back to the rise now. Making this a bit easier. And at the top is Rani's Dark Moon. Which is the it's pretty much the same as the, the, the full moon that we have. If you've tried that already. Um, it's too slow to use against Tish, that's why I didn't do it. Uh, it. It's really good against if you've got if the boss has been distracted. That's when it said it's best because it is slow. Um, if you have tried it out, what it, it it does it does the same as that, but it adds uh, frost damage as well. So it's it's interesting. <laughs> it can be quite good. All the way to the top, open the chest, and there we are. So it is legendary, so the main reason we're getting this is for the trophy. And uh, yeah, we'll teleport out. So we're done down here in this uh, Moonlight Altar. That's everything we need from there. So we're going to teleport back to the main northern gate of Ray Lucaria. And then we're going to use the, the seal here to walk through it and across the bridge, rather than going through it. Uh, just carrying on, you won't make it. <laughs> so teleport. And then you'll be in the Bellum Highway. There's a... There we go. Grace off to the left here. And I'll show you where we are. So we did get the two halves of the disc that opens up the lift. There's a lift at the end of this road. You can just kind of see it there in the distance. Uh, what we're doing is just going to this church, though. The I think it's the Dectus disc or something like that. Uh, there's a lift and that, that... We do have both halves. And you can just use that to get up to the Altus Plateau, which is the next area of the game. Uh, but we're going to go a different way because there's a boss here that uh, we need to kill for a trophy. Uh, there are knights on horses here. You can just pretty much ignore them, just keep heading towards. So mark the church. It's going to make it easier. And then just keep heading towards it. There is a grace in here, so you can rest if you're being chased. And because it is one of these churches, there is a sacred tier as well. We'll use that in a moment. And then we'll go and do a lot of riding again. So it's a bit of an in-between video, this one. Get in between places, really. Uh, Moonlight Altar is quite short, really. So yeah, I'm just removing that because they do annoy me. 
Uh, and then, uh, yeah, get on your horse and just ride. Well, there is, I'll just show, I was going to ride past this guy because he's useless and doesn't really have anything, but I'll show you just in case you want to know what he's got. But there is another merchant here. Um, yeah, let me know if you've been killing them and using their bells back at base. So yeah, there's got a few things, but yeah, the bewitching branch can be quite good. They can make, uh, if you've got um, bosses where there's two of them, you can make them fight each other. But um, yeah, there's very rare that you'll actually, uh, you'll probably run out of them <laughs> before they become useful. Uh, yeah, and we just kind of go down this ramp and keep following the river north, or kind of northeast. Give him a quick slap as we go past. <laughs> and then we've got the big versions of these. Obviously, stay out of the way if you don't want to get poisoned. And keep following the river. And you can just make off in the distance there. There's a golden seed. You'll be fine jumping off grabbing this. They won't get you from there. Uh, now you can use this golden seed. I do um, forget. <laughs> um, I do at the top of the place we're about to go. The place we're go going now is actually quite a low level place, so it doesn't really matter anyway. But yeah, you can use that now. You should have enough golden seeds to go up again. Another flask usage. Smithing stone five there, and then on here there is a uh, grace. So I'm trying to bring up the map, but I can't because I'm in combat in theory. So I'm just going to rest here and then I'll be able to show you where we've just come. So teleport, it's not teleport, the road down here, down the ramp, into the river, and then to the northeast point here. Into, uh, and then we're going to go through a cave section. Lots of smithing stone four, which is kind of useless for us at this point. But if you're doing more than one uh, weapon, maybe not. So this is another way onto Altus Plateau as well. Uh, if you don't have the deck to s key thing, so you can use the lift. I don't think I've ever used that lift, to be honest. No, I'm sure I haven't, actually. Have I gone down it once? Maybe. Um, because of this way, it's you, know, you don't need to. You can come here right at the beginning of the game, really. If you wanted to and just get all the way to the end of the game uh, no you can yes because you can skip uh, Stormvale so yeah easy enemies in here lots of ladders and uh, there are a couple of traps here but um, they're not particularly they you do, can potentially get poisoned but you can just heal through it <laughs> I'll try and point out where the traps are the main thing is the little guys here if you lock on You'll lock onto them. Uh, there is a trap where that item is. You can't... I'm trying to look... Where, I know it's there, but you can't see the traps. I'm sure you can't. Unless I just can't... I'm going to trigger it so you can see where it is. But it's somewhere there. Is it that block? Is it that... Yeah, it's that, isn't it? There, it's the little stone thing on the floor. Uh, but if you run through them quickly, you won't get poisoned. And then there's another one here. They chuck that, um, that stuff there. It doesn't do anything <laughs> it's just sort of a deterrent um, so you can't see what's going on because they, they do like to spring up on you item there if you want to drop down I can't remember what that is I know I don't need it so it's fine and then we're going to do the second half there's no boss in these well no technically there is a boss in these tunnels but we'll, we're going to be going back outside again Yeah, if you need uh, smithing stone four for whatever reason, there's uh, there's plenty of it here. He's going to do a, a hand pump flame attack, uh, a bit similar to uh, Bloodborne. There's a little guy here, a little hiding in the corner, and then there's one on the opposite side as well. You can just make him out moving. You don't even need to go in this room, really. I think there's a trap in here. Is there a trap? Yeah, there's a trap. Loads of traps. Get poisoned. But because we have our spell, 
If we do get poisoned, just use flame cleanse me. And uh, you won't be poisoned anymore. It's definitely a good spell to have on you at, at all times, especially if you don't know, if you're going to a new area and you don't know what's going on. Right, there's a few little guys up here. There's uh, a couple of guys sitting down. These are the miners. There's a little guy over here. And then there's one in this dark corner here. And then this is a rune arc if you are using rune arcs. So yeah, don't be... <laughs> Hopefully you are using rune arcs. Um, like I said, I'm not because uh, I can't guarantee that you will have any. But uh, if you are struggling, use a rune arc. Somber smithing stone four. And then we're halfway up. The rest of it is on the outside now. Some soft cotton. I'm sure that will come in handy. So that's the lift over there just in the distance. Dectus. Now up here there's going to be the, the little guys are back and you've got bats as well. So bats are just one shots as long as you're aware of where they are. They're more annoying when they take you by surprise than more than anything. So there's two bats here at the top on the floor. There's one on the left hanging down and then there's one on the right up on the top. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you don't get attacked there. There is a somber smithing stone three, but we, I mean, we can buy an infinite amount of these at this point. But there it is, if you want that for whatever reason. I actually dropped down the smithing stone, uh, somber smithing stone four down this ladder. Yeah, I was going to... I thought, shall we just leave it? Oh no, while I'm here, I'll just quickly have a look. <laughs> there, now we'll get out of here. Lots of ladders going on here. Luckily we'll have, Oh, no, missed one. There's one. Uh, luckily, luckily we can actually uh, kind of run, quotation marks, up ladders, holding circle. Right, now we've got singing bats. We've, we have seen these before, but we rode past them. We didn't fight them. Uh, they're obviously worse than the regular bats. There's a couple of normal ones here. Uh, and there are some hanging down as well, but they're a bit further up. So switch to rocks then if you've still got it, you'll be able to get them from a distance. There is another one, I'm trying to make way, make out where he is. There's one that does fall down, there's three up here. And then you've got the singing one off in the distance. So throw rocks, then they are a bit tougher, they do have magic as well, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you hit it once and it gets staggered and put on its back <laughs> and rock sling can't reach while they're lying on the floor so wait till it starts getting back up again more, more smithing stones here now there is another bat around here it might be on the other side of this column here I do hear it, it's behind me now quickly switch spell and uh, kill it I don't even need to come in this area I thought there was an item here I thought I'd remember there is one there isn't so <laughs> I didn't even need to come down this corner. It's upstairs. I was thinking there's a rune arc. Nearly there now. Long way up. You can jump across to this column over here. There's a golden rune four, five even.
There is a bat. Where's the bat? There's one that comes and attacks me. Yeah, there. It's from above. So yeah, be aware there's one above as well. Again, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah, nothing else. We're clear. And then this is the final level with enemies now. Uh, remember this one was here. Great. <laughs> So there is a whole bit behind me. Uh, I'll show you where it is. I'm not going to go up and uh, do it, but there is one of the large land octopus, octopi, up there. There's two of the singing bats just down there. So if you go up that ladder over there, I will show you. Hang on a sec. Yeah, there's over there. It's guarding an item. There's some other bits along there. There's nothing really of interest. It's a curved sword. Uh, so yeah, if you want to go up there and have a look, feel free. So we've got two singing bats here. Uh, probably switch on the second cast. So you can knock them both over and get the other one while it's still getting up. So yeah, they're, they're easy, these guys, especially with Rock Sling that tracks so well. And it does do the spell, which is easy to dodge. Smithing stone three, rune six, that was a random drop, and then round here, this is where I was thinking of before, is a rune arc. Again, use them if you have them. Uh, do, if you're afraid of running out of rune arcs, do a backup save. And then you'll never run out. Obviously, I mean, before bosses and things like that. And uh, yeah, we're at the boss which is part of a trophy which is not part of a trophy it is a trophy magma worm macar uh, just to, i was going to refresh in there just remember at this point now i have a golden seed we can use or i actually have four golden seeds we can use and i'm going to switch i i was going to go three eights but i think four sevens okay Four seven, yeah, that's that should be fine. Uh, right, so we're going to show you Titch, Tish, whatever her name is. <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. Gem and table, I don't know what do you want to call her. Um, yeah, run through here. It's just you fought one of these before. It's just the magma worms. It's not going to be the last time we fight one of these guys. So it does the charge, which you just dodge off to the side. And watch Tish, she's going to do the attack in a moment. There it is. Now watch the, see the health on the boss, it's continue, It's going down the whole time. So it, it's, it does happen, obviously quite quickly and then it wears off, but it's quite a lot of health goes down. And it's max health has been reduced as well. Obviously it can't heal, but there is a certain one that can. And uh, yeah, once it's down you can just kind of finish it with the Duelers Moonblade, which I just like doing. And that's it, it's really easy now. We're kind of set up for the end game at this point. You shouldn't be having any problems with any bosses apart from from one. I won't spoil who that is though. And uh, yeah, that was easy enough. You'll get the trophy. You'll get uh, the sword it was using. And I can't pop this grace. If that does happen, it's happened on this one before. Quit out, jump back in, and you should be fine. Not that we'll ever be back here. But it might be one of the important ones it happens on. And uh, yeah, then we're going to take the lift up. And we're going to be in Altus Plateau. Or as many people call it, Atlas Plateau. I think I did at the start as well. When you first see it, your brain just kind of reads. You know, if you jumble up the the word, uh, the letters in the middle of a word, your brain just reads the word because you know it. Uh, it try it, honestly, if you didn't know that. <laughs> jumble up the middle letters in a word and show it someone. They'll still be able to read it. Um... Yeah, that's why, obviously, it looks like... What what does Altus mean? I don't know. Maybe it means something. I don't know what it means. But, obviously, Atlas. There. <laughs> Altus Plateau. Obviously, Atlas is spelt different. I know that. But, yeah. You know what I mean. Anyway. This is going to be the next video we do. I'm just going to do some leveling here. I don't have enough, it's getting really expensive now. 
uh, and this is too much. What do we? Which one do I crack? That twice. That's a lot. That's they're five thousand each. Uh, that was way more than I needed. I thought they were two and a half thousand each. <laughs> but yeah, well, I'm leaving those, saving them for now. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go down. We'll go in vigor. A bit more of health. Why not? Right. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.